welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Popsicle Face. <laughs> That's our J Popsicle Face. Um, today is October 1st, isn't it? Yep. Or is it the September 31st? What is September's it? September's showing at 30 days. Oh, okay. Well, October 1st then. Okay, so it's October 1st. Happy. Episode is number is at the top. It's 150 something. So. All right. I guess we'll just get with it, huh? Yep. We're kind of lazy. The dog kept me up all night. The cat got in the trash, and yeah, I didn't sleep very good. So, how'd you sleep? Like a baby. <sighs> like didn't a rock. Hear a thing. He never does. Neither does his dad. So, all right, in the barn stalls. A lot's happened this week, um, right? We did. Um, we lost Bully Boy. Um, he had been sick for quite some time. Um, and he just kind of gave up the ghost. Dot said he didn't think that there was something right. Um, we called him several times. He'd been on a lot of electrolytes. He just didn't make it. Um, it is what it is, you know. So, but that's not the only. Now, there's some good stuff going on in the barn stalls, too. So, that's the only bad this week, right? Mm -hmm. Although, one is kind of heart-wrenching for me, but it's good. Just hard to take, huh? Not for him. He knows it's for the best. Um, so, what are we talking about? <laughs> I love doing that to him. <laughs> Come on, Popsicle Face. Eating a strawberry popsicle. They're like strawberry smoothies frozen on a popsicle thing. He loves them. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, not have yucky trash everywhere. Okay, so oh, what are we talking about? All your paperwork. That's true. So what are we talking about? Why is it heart wrenching but Storm great? Left you to Louisiana. Yep. So those that have had rides on her pony rides. Those are over. Um, she is now living in Louisiana. Will you please stop? Um, with a family, correct? And tell the story. Um, guys, sorry. Facebook. Will you please stop? He just automatically starts with everything in the drawers. And it's not like he didn't see it all last week. Come on, pick your phone up and tell the story. Come on. All right. Let well, you see. She went to Louisiana. Get your phone off your head. said pick it up. Okay. Come on now, dude. You guys saw her on Facebook. Yeah. Liked her. Mm -hmm. And who was he buying her for? His 13-year-old son. So, um, mm -hmm. how long has this little boy been roping? Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my heavens up. You better keep telling the story. So, so he uh, asked... You seen him videos? I seen him videos and stuff last Monday. And pictures. Pictures, maybe Sunday, Monday. And I asked him uh, if he was gonna really interested in her, if he wanted to come try her, see if they liked her. Um, he said, yeah, they'd be up Friday. So, uh, we took, and uh, Friday he came up. Thursday night they left Louisiana, drove up. Stayed in Bartersville. Then got up and came over here. They were here at like so, 8 in the morning, bright and shiny. Saturday yeah, they were here morning. like 8 in the morning, Friday morning. And um, so he tried her. Even the dad tried to rope on her, correct? Yep. And he liked her. And, uh, and then the son tried to rope on her. And he liked her, but the son had his own issue with the horse. What was it? He wasn't used to a horse stopping that hard. He has a horse, but it didn't stop that hard, and he actually got racked. Um, it's one of the things that when a horse stops, that saddle horn is right there. And so he ran, what, three or four on her? Uh -huh. And then... He, he seemed like he wanted to, and I said, honey, if, if you don't want to run anymore, it's okay. I said, if you need to get down and walk it off. So he got down, 
and he walked it off. And I looked at the guy, and we all, RJ and I had seen it happen, mm -hmm. and he tried to just play it off. And I told the gentleman, I said, y you need to go talk to your son and make sure, because he, he might be hurting. So he goes over and talks to his son and asks him, and lo and behold, he really was hurting, um, because she had stopped so hard. He loved the horse, but it was something he was going to have to get used to. But the dad got up there, mm -hmm. and he ran some on it um, in a saddle that was how many sizes too small. Oh he didn't even change saddles. He just used a sun saddle. And so he's like, this is good. So they, uh, the little boy, we left them. We are one of these people that just want to walk away and let them discuss. They didn't come this far to buy something that they didn't really need or want. Um, and I don't want to push it on them. They need time to discuss by themselves. Um, so RJ and I went and we did bottle calves and started doing some chores around the farm that needed to be done. And when we looked up, they had headed to the thing, uh, to the front of the house, which is where we had saddled her. So we knew that they were going to take the saddle off and that they were done running and or done working on her, you know, and that they had made a decision. So um, we did our chores and then we came up front. And RJ went out front, and what the little boy had I had a he took the halter I had on his arm off and put the halter they would brought on her, and he's sitting there swinging it, smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> and what did he say to you? I asked him, "Have you made a decision yet?" And he looks at me and he goes, "Well, take her." <laughs> so um, we also sent her war feather with her. So. Um, I showed him how to do that. Um, I told him just put the lip on, you know, braid it and then put the thing on there. And uh, so she went with that. I told him that he could also just put it in her, um, in his hat when he roped. So um, he liked it. But you also did something to Storm before. So she went out of here with a mark on her. Yeah. Wait for his brand to drink. Tom, you, you purchased yeah, this. Okay. Um, one of the things that we've decided, or actually RJ's decided, is that he wants to, you know, mark the horses that he puts out there because they are so well trained, and he started, he wants, um, a way to recognize any and all that I've ever owned. Yeah. So, I see that now. Uh. So you learn to what? Freeze brand. So um, freeze brand is far less invasive than hot branding. Yes. Correct. Um, Smell that on that hot brand one. I don't like hot branding horses, period. Um, we've hot branded cattle, and I have an electric one so that it controls the heat, um, controls the temperature. It gets to be the perfect temperature. Put it on there for X amount of minute. That's it. It's far, far too... Um, rough for horses. So, um, RJ went and learned to freeze brand. Show me brand. Show them what it means. It's this funky letter we, in shape. We, it's got a, a little handle on it. And this is the shape. Alright, so what does it stand for? What is this right here? That's an S. Okay, and what is this? That's an F. So, it's crossed. I don't know that I'm doing the F right, but... It's easier to do if you do it up like this, because there's the F. Oh, yeah. F and what's it stand for? Straw farm. Straw. The double F is family farm. But what is this little thing here? That's a cross. All right. Now, where does this go? On horse's front shoulder, just like that. So it'll be her breast collar, and then she'll have a brand right underneath it. Mm -hmm. Correct. So it will be seen in all photos and all that stuff. And as he gets older, when he hits, you know, a couple of years down the road and has some decent ones out there, people will know who to come to for training. Correct? Yep. All right. Let's see. What else? We had Precious came. What what only Precious? Somebody came and tried her. Yep. And what does she want to, to get her for? To run barrels. To run barrels. She loved that Precious has speed. And I never could get Precious to open up and really just 
run. She wouldn't put her tail and head straight out and just run. But the lady was like, ooh, she's fast. <laughs> I said, yeah. So, <coughs> um, it's just one of those things that, you know, she really wants her, but what is her hold up? Uh, money. Yeah. As, as with all things, um, money. Now, she has proposed something to you, correct? Yeah. Talk she a little bit about that. We're not going to just throw it out there and say, oh, well, we did this. Um, she wants to trade an older open horse for. Yep. So. A paper. She's not, she, it's not. The difference is, is that Precious is younger, but untrained. So she is worth about the same amount as an older, fully trained horse, correct? Yep. So she is wanting to see if they can trade. So today you're going to go get the horse after you're open. Right, and we're gonna try him. A her, it's a her, isn't it? And what? Trying to get her in shape and see. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna try her for more than a day. Yeah, correct. We're gonna keep her for like a week or so and get her in shape. I mean, get her in try. shape. Get her. See if RJ gets along. If if you don't get along with the horse, does that mean this is a bust? No, that means I'm going to try to sell the horse for them so they don't have the money to buy. It. That's right. So she really does like Precious, and she's willing to do whatever it takes. She's got a finished roping horse. She doesn't rope, and she wants to somehow use that horse to get a up-and-coming girl horse that she can do. So, um, and they just had a baby too. So, yeah. All right. Anything else in the barn stalls? Mm -hmm. Breeding season is going good. Um, we'll be flipping them out here. Ooh, the bull will get out here in a month or so, won't he? Yep. Yeah. Alright, now we did decide on one thing with um, the goats, because I'm only breeding my two milk goats. What are we going to do because Finny passed? Cisco. Or Cisco, I'm sorry. Cisco kid. The little midget Finny, yeah. Willie Nelson, the little pygmy. Um, the, I don't know how to kid friendly say it, so we're not going to discuss his issue. If, if you want to know his issue, email me and I'll tell you why this may or may not work. It's just that simple. Um, so we've got all that stuff figured out. Anything else going on? Got a few calves that need to be doctored, but that's as with all children they get pink eye and pass it around they get um, a cough and pass it around and so right next. yep all right anything else in the barn stalls no nope. okay mending fences I gotta go and get the stuff for um I was pretending to brand me uh I gotta go get the stuff for the horse runs and we're going to do that as opposed to spending a lot for Christmas we're going to finish those and why do we need to get those done so Murphy has a stock. we're doing them before Christmas but they are our Christmas and that is because little Murphy has no shelter in his pen we just keep walking in the barn right yes and he's not liking that is he hmm. so we are going to make sure that one full stall is done and that all of it should have the um, tin over it we're going to put the awning over it and stuff, but I may not have all the walls to the metal stalls done, correct? Yeah. But we will have one done, and he will have a run off there. I've already got the two orange things in his run. Um, I just don't have the inside stall done, correct? Yeah. And I don't have the 4x4 four four to hook the gate to, right? So, um, but other than that, we're going to get that done. We're probably going to get more than that done. I don't know that I'll get all the... I said we're going to get all the awning done and hopefully like two of those stalls in so that RJ can start taking in other horses. And there's a reason that he's going back to doing that in there. But we'll discuss that here in the farmhouse. Uh, anything else in mending fences? Nope. Um, the no. truck. Well, the truck. We're still working with the insurance and they've made an offer that I might take. So, in the yarn farm, getting ready to do a craft show. 
and I'll show you everything I'm working on on that. But um, Jay Dish. I want to I'm gonna quit. What I tell you? I'm gonna beat you. She made this. I did not. Popsicle stick. Anyway, all right. No In the fields. Right. Um, we had to harvest all of the pumpkins. Go get me a pumpkin. I forgot to put a pumpkin up here. No, they do not. Make sure that you get like that white one and one with dark eyes. Anyway, okay, so we had the fair and Miss Piggy put in two of her pumpkins and I took them, I thought, a little bit premature. But as it turns out, I don't think I did because I went out there three days ago, I think. And when I went out there, there was one pumpkin that had a, a like squish ball, a squish, squish, I don't know how you say them. Uh, squash bugs? It's either squash or squash. I'm not sure. It's it, a bug. Oh. It is a bug. But this bug was doing what? Eating these pumpkins. Eating our pumpkins. Now, this is Miss and I love these. Uh, so we harvested 10 of these, right? And I took some up. Now this one I'm pretty sure is not ripe because it feels different too. But I took it because I lost two of them to the squash bugs. So I have four, right? Mm -hmm. I gave my daughter some for Halloween decorations. Then I took some up to the know what a can for them to decorate with. And a girlfriend of mine has Henry, and he's four, and he is decorating for Halloween this year. So, um, I gave her one, too. Actually, I let him pick. A lot of activity and driving up and down our road today. I don't know what the deal is. Um, so, yeah, it, it was one of those things. Um, but Henry was happy because it's a bubbly pumpkin. <laughs> but we got like 10 of those things and the loofah gourds are growing so I've actually found loofah gourds I've um, done all kinds of stuff we got your tape I'm making cinnamon rolls too that's all I know when I eat my popcorn gotcha did you check when was the timer going off? Mm -hmm. we have breakfast in the thing he's got to leave for a rodeo so we wanted to fit in podcasting anyway so um, I have loofah gourds still growing my spinach thing blew over, so I have the plant out there, and it's not on the TP anymore. I'm also going to do my trellis system, and uh, I'm going to find a way to make that TP more sound. So, um, in the farmhouse, we have a lot going on in the farmhouse, don't we? Mm -hmm. All right. So, what's with you in the farmhouse? Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. You have a job. I think. I'm doing nothing now. <laughs> okay, so there was a conflict. And what people don't understand is RJ and our arrangement, correct? Mm -hmm. RJ houses two horses here that are his, free of charge. Not. And he also, we redid his room to be like a little apartment. Um, it, the bathroom and the kitchen are off of it, but he does have a fridge and a little bar for his snacks. He's got his privacy. Um, and we penciled it out one time, and what most places charge like $350 plus feed and hay. So it comes to about $700 a month. Those that don't charge. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you got to put the icing on them, too. Oh, yeah. All right. <coughs> um, those that that provide the feed and hay charge about $700 a month. So, RJ keeping two horses here at 20 years of age. Um, well, he'll be 20 in, like, five days, guys. October 6th is RJ's birthday, just saying. So, five days, he'll be 20 years old. Um, anyway... He houses two horses here, and that's about $1,400 a month if he had to do it away from our home. Then he'd have rent, electric, gas, water, those things. Um, his cell phone. Um, and then he'd also have to uh, truck, trailer, that kind of stuff. 
So, if he moved out, I would need someone to ride the horses. Okay, I'm still on the heavy side and not able to do it myself. Um, but I would have to hire somebody and it would cost me about $700 a month to do the two horses that I need done. So RJ puts those rides on them for me so that I don't have to pay someone to do those two horses. Um, I have two more that are up and coming that would probably have to be done and I, I do them right now but I, again I would have to have somebody put the rides on them so he pays his rent and utilities and phone and all of that and pays for the care of his horses by working here on the farm it is his first job because it provides him with food shelter clothing uh, well not clothing I don't buy his clothes but food and shelter water a place to house his horses. So the Straw Family Farm is his first job. His other job um, kind of took over his life and people saw the Straw Family Farm at, not as a job. And RJ let his obligations um, slip. We still haven't started this shearing. He has promised me that he will. But this week he quit his other job because it became his most focal. His roping was slipping. He didn't have time to practice anymore. He didn't have time to ride my horses and pay his rent. He didn't have time to, you know, do anything. He wrecked two vehicles going over there. It was costing him far more than people saw. Um, yes, we're a family farm, but I'm not going to let my 20 year old son mooch off me either. I got enough to do on my own. So, this is the work that he wants to do. It's an opportunity to get his name out there without having a bunch of overhead. So, he will go back to taking in horses and doing what we do. Um, he liked the opportunity to learn. And as a matter of fact, the gentleman that he worked for were still friends. Um, oh, I forgot something in the barn stalls, too. Uh, we're still friends. He showed RJ. He actually trained RJ on how to freeze brand. Um, yeah, it, it's just different. So RJ is back to concentrating straight on the straw family farm. All right. RJ, we missed something in the barn stalls. Star. Yeah, he says catch up. He doesn't want to tell the story. Okay, so as y'all know, I sent Star to a trainer. She was supposed to be there for 30 days. Um, I don't know if he's just not skilled with Mustangs. He did make the remark that she's not like anything he'd ever done. Um, which is true. She's not. Do I need to go put frosting on? There you go. Okay. Um, so, I went over there with you because we had to go pick up the branding iron and blah, blah, blah. And I went over with you and I like to check on her, correct? Yep. So I went down there and she was salivating, like slobbering. Um, Use a little word. Confuse me. And it was not good, correct? It was like all the way down to the ground. Something was wrong. Um, I called the trainer in, and of course, he tied her up to see if it was food causing it, which I know it wasn't. If we just, if he just seen it, he'd have known it wasn't too, huh? Um, so when we left, we turned her loose and stuff, and she wasn't doing it as bad. She wouldn't drink as much. Let me close that window so they can hear over that train. Um, she wouldn't eat and drink. She lost some weight. Not terrible, terrible, but she looked gant. Um, RJ, how do I explain what she did when she would drink and eat? She'd go. 
pretty much she was she tip her head to the side um, 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 um. and and so it so um the trainer didn't see it though and he thought that she probably just got um a piece of grass stuck in her jaw or whatever you know in her teeth and it would come out so uh, she ate all of her grain that night she ate her grain the next morning uh, no she didn't get fed the next morning did she until we brought her home uh, she ate all of her grain that night he seemed to not be worried well the next day I went back over because we had some other things going on um, and uh, I'm trying to explain it. Son, you're not helping me, are you? She's doing the same thing. But worse. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Um, so she was throwing her head and drilling. She she really wouldn't drink. Um RJ called the vet and uh he wasn't in, but you made an appointment, correct, for the next day. Right. Then we put her in the horse stock and moved her tongue, got it, you know, so that we could see, offered her some alfalfa, and she was chewing, but she wasn't swallowing. So we called the vet back and got her in that day. Um, so RJ took Star to the vet, and I went and picked up the freeze brand that was on special order, because this guy was going on vacation, and <clears throat> he needed the money for vacation, and we needed the freeze brand to do Star Storm before she left. So, you took Star to the vet, and what happened? Uh, Doc looked at her, couldn't find nothing in her mouth, run a tube down her. Put a tube down her nose, nose. into it. Now, he, he flushed it, correct? Yes. Yeah, so that if there was an obstruction, which is what he thought, and, and honestly, we had looked around in her mouth so much, I'm not sure what was going on, but it did... It, it made me think she was obstructing her throat too. So he flushed it out. Yeah. You don't know which way if it would have gone up or down. You know, so you don't know if if you flush whatever it is out. But what else did he think it could be? She could be trying to lose a tooth or have a toothache. So he gave us some view to give her. None of her teeth are swollen. Don't miss. It's not that she's one full. What kind of tooth would she be losing? A baby tooth. A baby tooth. And we also found out that she has what? Wolf teeth. Wolf teeth. Um, for some unknown reason, male horses get wolf teeth. They're normally right back where the bit goes. We have them removed under anesthetic because they clank the bit and it hurts them to wear. So if you have a boy... Um, most of the time we do it when we geld them. We had it done with Kavayu, correct? We just have them done because you do have to, we knock them out to do it, okay? Um, pull the teeth and, and have them gelded. And they're under, under anesthetic when they have it done. Um, she's not been to be gelded, so, because she's a girl, <laughs> so we never looked to see if she had wolf teeth. Um, we had not put anything but a rubber dog bone in her mouth, which is a kind of bit. And the rubber does not affect it. He did say that none of her teeth are inflamed, right? Right. There's no infection. She didn't have a fever. So, basically it's like having a 1,200-pound baby teething, right? Yep. If there was anything in the obstruction. So, we'll, we'll never know because we're doctoring for both, correct? Right. We doctored for an obstruction and it went on down into her stomach. We'll never know. Um, if she had issues with her teeth, we're doctoring for that. So, it, it could have been a little bit of both. We, we honestly just don't know. But, she has since quit slobbering, mm -hmm. right? She is doing really good. We brought her home. And she had spent way too much time pinned up. So we turned her out, correct? And yep. she is being a horse this next week. She will start with her training, correct? Yep. 
or ground training, not being mad, just ground training, getting trust, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, next. All right. Anyway, well, we're in the farmhouse and we're heading back to in the barn stalls. So, all right. Um, some of the older nuns. Let's get this thing wrapped up. Why didn't you bring any? So I kind of made a mess with the frosting. <laughs> okay. So, the other thing is, I'm getting ready to do a little craft show, and I've done a take on our, um, what do you call it, our kid gift shop. Instead of just having a booth with really expensive stuff, I started working on some little things that kids could buy, and I come up with these. Um, they're going to have a ribbon through here, and then they'll have little baubles off of here. And this one is just blue and gold. Um, I did gold on the bottom, too, and blue on the top on this one. Um, this isn't my favorite. I have a bunch of them that are different colors. And then I did these. Now, these two I made for RJ. This magnet. I haven't glued this on yet. It's not really staying. So we'll I'll get it pushed on there. Okay, so I haven't. These two I made just for RJ. And it's his word wonderful. And it's got purple glitter with a pink horsey. And they're magnets. Okay. The magnet, they're not dry yet. They're coming off. But anyway. And then, do not laugh at my creations. Um, this is not my original idea. And I'm not done with them. But I have these little boxes. And these two are going to be like Christmas ornaments. The... Uh, what do you call it? The the craft show is in November, the first of November at a school. So anyway, I found these buttons and I clipped off the little hole on the back and they are going to be glued in here. And I kept it all animal based. So it'll be glued in there with glitter. And then this will have a little uh, eye up here with a little bead. And they'll have a little ribbon. And then I'm going to put um, so a, a little bead. String. String of bead. It's not really string. It's, it's those little metal things. But anyway, it'll have a little bobble there. So that when you hold this and pull this up. Ah, the when, it, falls out. when it's glued in, it'll stay in there. And I have some with kitties, dogs, and um, horses. Which are my little pony ones. The, the horses are really like this. I had trouble finding realistic horses. But anyway, these are things that I am going to have in the booth for children to buy because it's at a school. So I've been doing these. Um, anything else that I've been working on? Oh, I'm going to make some of those wooden bracelets too. Um, the little uh, jumbo craft sticks. You just soak them in water and then bend them and let them dry and they stay. But uh, anyway, and then I painted... A bunch of these and I'm gonna let the kids for a quarter um, write their own name on it or their own word or I'll write it on it for them but I'll have the magnets ready and they'll just be plain and then they'll get to personalize them um, for a quarter so that way and then I've got some uh, felt needle felted ornaments just flat cookie cutter type stuff um, and then of course I'll have the yarn and the shells and all that so I'm trying to incorporate more and more kid stuff into it. I know it's a busy road today. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe we'll so. actually stop at the stop so. Yeah, but I haven't seen this many people come down in a while. Okay, the other thing in the farmhouse and all of that that I was working on is really on the porch, huh? Huh. Let's yeah. keep going. <laughs> Just keep going. Okay, so the other thing that I gotta show you let's see if I can do it. Move. I'm wounded. That's not supposed to be there. Well, what happened? Do that. Don't you dare. It hurts. What what happened to me? How did I get wounded? I don't know. I called you yesterday. What happened? I stepped in an armadillo hole. <laughs> yeah, I stepped in an armadillo hole. Where is that armadillo hole? Front yard. It's been there for months. Everybody and I have, to step around it. I have tried to get them to fill it. And I keep asking them to fill it. And I was told you're old and you forgot where it was. Well, we park our cars right there, so sometimes it's under a car, sometimes it's right beside the door, sometimes. And you I don't just know until you, for it. 
Yeah, he looks for it every time he goes out there, which is undoable. I don't. I should be able to walk across my driveway safe and sound. Right? Mm -hmm. And I was told months ago they were going to fill it, and then it didn't get done. I and haven't said Isaac. Yesterday, I asked him, so when are you going to fill this? I just fell in it, blah, blah, blah. And I was we'll told, it, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it when we get home tonight. That was yesterday. It's we'll still not full. And then I asked, okay, realistically, we're going to need to do it. And I was told today. I keep saying Monday. He just keeps putting it off. If he, and he doesn't say what Monday. He just says Monday. Right. No, so that if it passes know. Monday and it's not done, he'll say Monday again. That's all he ever says is Monday. As long as he doesn't ask me on Monday, I'm good. Oh, I'm going to have to ask on Monday. So... All right, now you got something else for your old pick em up. What did you get for braids? Yep. Did we even tell him about the old pick up? RJ was given his great grandpa's old pickup. Now it's not pretty, not by a long shot, but you crank that baby, and what does it do? Yes. It starts right up. It does not go. It starts up, um, every time it's a 1982 Ford F100, they didn't make 150s then, and it needed some brakes, so I bought him some brake shoes for it, and him and Saturn put brakes on it and just start one little thing at a time, and mechanically it's sound, it doesn't go 80 miles an hour, you know, but it put putts and gets where it's going. And I am going to take it after we get brakes on it. I want to take it to a little mechanic and see what it really needs. Um, I've noticed a few things hanging down. But on those old trucks, they used to put uh, plastic cages or plastic stuff on the wiring. And then uh, affix them to the chassis. So those things may need to be picked back up and put up right. Um, but other than that, it starts and it goes. It's not pretty, so we'll start looking for, um, I think mostly just the fenders have the rust in it. We'll look on the underside and see what the undercarriage looks like, but I don't want him to Fred Flintstone it. <laughs> so, we'll see, but other than that, we'll be working on that, and you'll be working here at the house, and we are going to get back to it, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, you have another thing that we should have talked about in the barn stalls that might come about. You have your eyes on, on something. What is it? A horse. You've been roping and saving money to get what? Another horse. Okay, what? What makes it so special? We don't need another horse. It's a half-sister or a full sister to Coop. Yes, to the... Is she 13? 14? 13. 13. To the 13 year old really good powered horse um, she has either a half sister or a whole sister and it's just a matter of looking on the papers to see if she's half or whole um, and if she is you know RJ is saving money and trying to get the guy hasn't called him back yet is a problem you think you have enough money saved up now but he won't call him back so um, what is the difference in age? I mean, that's years. there's a 10 years difference. So he's going to train her to be the next Coop um, and give Coop a break because Coop is kind of getting older. And if he can get her going, then Daddy can have his horse back, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right. Anything else that we have forgotten to tell them? No. We're going uh, that's to all, folks. We're going to go eat cinnamon rolls. So. <laughs> that's all, folks. He does not sound a thing like Porky Pig, does he? Can you do it any better? That's all, folks. That's all, folks. That's an RJ version. That's a dorky version. All right. We're off of here. We're going to get back to work. Hopefully, you'll start seeing some progress in us getting back to being us because it won't just be me. It'll be you and me doing projects, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. See ya.